Hello everyone, my name is Mitz, and here we're Phoenix Wright Trials of the Justice. We're now going to go into court with what little evidence we have of the whole fiasco yesterday. We barely learned anything about the crime scene of the bank robbery. We only know Gumshoe is going to be in the stand. There's a bank teller, there's that, and uh, a victim who was not involved at all with the bank robbery. She wasn't into the building, she was walking home from work, and she was <sighs> hit and ran from the scene by a stolen car. And it, it can't be Daryl because Cyclox says g did not do a do, so she, so our, our, our local woman stunt driver is off the case for that, but not to everyone else because everyone doesn't believe in spirituality and all that kind of stuff, which is shame on them. Shame on them. So we gotta go and prove that it's all a real thing. Hmm. Hey, Dara, what's wrong? Oh, uh, I'm just a little nervous, that's all. That's normal, don't worry about it. I've never been to court before, my first time happens to be as a defendant. That's not exactly something you want to brag about to your friends. Well, Emma, you could say I was a part of, of being Q's murder, that's a fun <laughs> story, right? Hey, don't worry, don't forget, we're here to help you. That's right, you're not here alone, Dara. And don't forget about Mr. Manly! Oh no, D does she even know? I don't think so. He'll come to the courtroom and save you from the bad guy. Joel? Wait, wait, did I get that right? Was his name Joel this whole time? No, not him. Stunt Mi- His real name is Joel. Oh my. What about him? Oh, uh, nothing. Don't worry about that. Pearls in her fairy tale imagination on love, and that gets explored in the third game. I really liked how it was implemented. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I don't think Joel would ever do that for me. I do feel a little better. Thank you, Pearl. Oh, but I was serious. Now's the time for that. <laughs> Dark claims she was in her dressing room for, th for three hours. Yeah. But somehow she was seen the bank. I have a feeling I know how things are going to play out. Prosecution claim that Dee Dee's the culprit, so it may have an advantage. Hmm. May 9th, 10 a.m. District Court. This is gonna be a fun, bumpy ride indeed. Bumpy in more ways than one. <laughs> okay. Court is now in session for the trial of, uh, Dara Devil? The prosecution is ready, Your Honor, sir! The. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh, sir. <laughs> Sorry, that uh, saluting you do is kind of contagious. Uh, I I do saluting all the time, okay? All right, but not to people. Not to people. Definitely to people. I don't appeal to authority. Settle down, you two. Now then, Mr. Hawk, I have a question. Your Honor, this Dara Devil. Is this woman the one who performs all those stunts for the Super D stunt show? Yes, indeed. Oh yeah, we're gonna have this now. Yes, Your Honor, she is. Unbelievable. I thought that Dee Dee was a man this whole time. But all this time watching, who would have thought that he was a she? Hmm. Wait, does the judge watch the Super D stunt show too? It's a fun show, okay? I mean, what else are you gonna do in this very boring town? Apparently the only thing that happens well, good enough is um, uh, murders happening, people coming to watch them in court and dramas. Oh, brother. You don't have brothers. You're the only child, Nick. Well, let's not dwaddle. Mr. Hawk, your opening statement. Open up this can of worms that is his stunt show. Thank you, sir. On May 7th, in the end of the Stupid D stunt show, Dee Dee was seen robbing the bank. And afterwards, hit a pedestrian with a vehicle, thus killing her. Hmm, so it was a robbery and a murder. As the suspect had fled, she was resting in her dressing room at Stunt Stadium. Today, the prosecution will prove Miss Devil is the culprit to this double crime. Hmm. All laid out nice and neatly. Sounds like Hawk is confident that Dara is the murderer. Well, he was also confident that that, Mr. that Sherman Diggis was also And look how that turned out. Very well, Mr. Hawk. Please call forth your first witness. Also, Mr. Hawk doesn't have the power of spirit rock. He doesn't. The prosecution calls his first witness to Gumshoe. Ooh. How you doing, old buddy gum gumshoe, old pal? Witness, tell, please tell us your name and occupation. Yes, sir! My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir! I'm going to in charge of homicides down the precinct, sir! I'd like you to give us an outline of what happened on the day of the crime. Yes, sir! 
Is everyone as well aware that suspect was seen robbing a bank called Zenny Bank? I have a map of said bank for everyone to look over. Hmm. Zenny Bank. Afterwards, the, the suspect left for the scene and stole a car. Ooh. After starting the after starting the car, the DD drove onto the sidewalk and hit a pedestrian. Okay, there. ATM, Door Street. The victim's name is Patty Destrian. She was an old office lady who was on her way home. Was she present in the bank while it was being robbed? No, Your Honor. She had nothing to do with that part of the crime. Later, police were mobi more mobilized and head straight to the stadium. Hmm. How'd you know to go to the stadium, Detective Gumshoe? The vehicle was stolen was found there. It was also witnessed that identified the suspect at the crime scene. I see. Hmm. Witness, please give us your testimony regarding the incident. Yes, sir! <laughs> you said a lot. The bank heist. DD also knows Daredevil had come to the bank around 6.15 p.m. There, the suspect held up the bank teller and demanded some money. The words of the suspect fled the bank and came across the vehicle. When she started the car, she drove off and hit a pedestrian. Later, the police went to Stunt Stadium and that's where we arrested Dee Dee. Hmm. This case is something pretty open and shut. Uh, has anyone seen her face? No? No, of course not. Miss Devil was arrested in her dressing room. We have plenty of evidence to suggest she is the culprit. Very well then. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. There's a lot of meat, not meat to this testimony. Meat? They didn't serve that at the Stunt Stadium, did they? Well, they have kids' meals and all that, and pretzels. Maybe. So the basic thing to do is to make Maya and devour every bit of information. Hey, Nick. What kind of meat are we talking about? Uh, why are you reading my mind, you? Uh, hamburgers. Oh, uh, uh, God, that's going to make you even more hyperactive. Bank heist. I don't think there's any meat inside a bank heist stadium, right? Well, unless I'm, uh... Money is now just, you know, tastes like sweet grilled steak. I don't think so. DD also knows Daredevil had come to the bank around 6.15 p.m. So we gotta make like a tree and press everything. Press their buttons. How do you know that it was Dara that came to the bank? Her identity has been hidden from the masses for a long time now. Well, it was easy to identify her. Because she was in costume during the robbery. Fully in costume. Does that mean it can be anyone? But that would mean like... If I was going to outline this thought, that means someone who was in part of the stunt stadium by themselves was, would be the culprit then. And since everyone was back and forth going, moving around, we can't narrow it down to any single person. Yeah, everyone was moving around, doing different things. Jobs, tasks. Yeah, it's going to be tough to figure that out. In costume? That's right, at the time of the robbery, DD was in her show up it. It had some proof it was her, but uh, okay. So the culprit was in costume. Well, if you're going to rob a bank, you must have a mask on to hide your identity. So how do you prove it was her, though? Sometimes my wife has a mask on when she's asleep. Oh, those um, uh, things that cover your eyes with, okay. I mean, honestly, who is she trying to hide from when taking a nap? I can think of at least one person. Oh, wow. <laughs> I better strike at the same while I have a chance. Can you guys further get your testimony? Press. Gotta press the buttons like I'm pressing the buttons on this keyboard. If the defendant wanted to hide her identity, then why wear the DD costume? What do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? Miss Devil kept her identity hidden from the masses by wearing the DD outfit. So why were that, wear that outfit when you could show up in a different costume? Exactly. Wearing the DD costume would only cast more suspicion on the wearer. Oh, what do you have for that? I'm trying to say that wearing a costume would be needless for her. Robbing a bank, most people would wear something to cover their face. Uh, you're missing my point here. Perhaps so, but wearing the DD attire would be a dead giveaway to who she was. I can see both your points, but unless there was proof that the defendant... There is... Uh, uh, what? There's proof that Miss Devil was wearing the DD outfit? Like I said, there is. Have a look at this, Your Honor. Uh, okay, just... A person going inside the... I guess the bank? In a costume? It's... It's Dee Dee! In costume! Where'd this picture come from? The witness from yesterday happened to have a camera on hand. Wait, Gumshoe... Gum... Wait, no. Gumshoe doesn't carry... Wait, did Gumshoe actually spot this happening, like, from the outside? Took a picture and just went inside? Okay. She... It's someone new. She had followed the suspect from the statement when she cut up with Dee Dee. She took this picture. The witness followed the suspect? Okay, so there's two witnesses here. Well, that's a... That's a surprise. Okay. 
Well, this certainly proves one thing. When robbing the bank, the suspect was in the DD outfit. That's all it proves. It doesn't show who it is. Witness product to the court record. And if the costume was physically made to hide, you know, um, uh, Daryl's Daredevil's, you know, identity, like her face and all that, I'm assuming that the, the, the glass and the helmet mask would, uh, you know, be clouded like a one-way mirror sort of thing. Only they could see out of it, but no one can see into the, like, their eyes and face. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you convinced? Not really. You don't even need to ask me, you smart Alec. Well, I mean, I am a smart Alec, but I'm a... Uh, that's a bad smart Alec move. There's a suspect held at the bank telling demanded some money. Hmm. But how much money? Are we talking about $1, 20 Because $20 is $20. This bank teller, can you tell us about him? Uh, not much to tell, pal. He was startled when Didi showed up and had a gun held to his face. He did his instructor to put some money in the bag. PUT THE MONEY IN THE BAG! PUT IT IN! Uh, sir, you can turn over this way. Can I see some ID, sir? Oh yeah, sure, here you go. <laughs> and put some money in the bag Dee, Dee was carrying. I suppose we'll be hearing this again later when the teller takes the stand. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but that won't be happening. What? Is the big teller not showing up? But he's a witness to the crime, is he not? So there's technically three, but I'm, uh, he, he's a worthless witness. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. In a sense, yes, he is. However, the only thing he did was hand over the money to the suspect. To that, the teller fainted and didn't recover until a half an hour later. Okay. We took a statement and applied it to today's testimony. Hmm. Rather have the bank teller here instead. But if that is all that happened to him, I suppose he doesn't need to be here. Hmm. Then where's the suspect for the bank and came across a vehicle, like literally right outside the building? So does that mean it belonged to, like, some other person inside who was in the bank robbery, or- It literally is the bank teller's vehicle. <laughs> so not only was he held up at gunpoint, and he had to, had to hand over money, and he fainted, he had his car stolen. Nice. You had a great day, I could tell, Mr. Sir. So after the robbery, the suspect fed the, the crime scene with a stolen vehicle? That's right, pal. Not only did the suspect commit robbery and murder, but she also committed Grand Theft Auto. I mean, wow. That's a lot to do in one day. That lady sure is a troublemaker. Uh, when did I mean three crimes technically instead of two? Nick, what are you doing? You're just adding another crime to, crime to your, your repertoire. Well, I, I, you gotta worry about the calories, okay? God, my God, Nick. <laughs> or maybe it was just convenient that there was a car there to drive and get away in. I better strike at the statement while I have a chance. So what kind of car does this get away in? Huh? It, just a car, pal. Nevertheless, every detail in this crime is important, right? Well, alright. The car that was stolen was an SUV. It actually belongs to the witness. I'm getting flashbacks. It does? And we measured the tire marks in the scene of the crime and they belong to the SUV. Well, I mean, d that doesn't exactly prove it was from that car in itself. Unless, like, you know, every single car has different tire treads. Because, like, you can change tires completely. It's not like a tire goes to, like, fits completely perfectly on a specific car. That'd be stupid. I swear to God, I think car manufacturers would, might, would probably do that if they were given the chance. But I, I, I think because of the headache that everyone would be having to go, I'm pretty sure no one would buy their cars. So, g please, good. D yeah, please, do your good work, consumers. Buy cars that, you know, have good design. They belong to the SUV. So, use to kill a victim. It's amazing the suspect even got the car to start. The transmission was kind of on with Fritz and it was hard to get moving. Fritz, you say? Transmission? Yeah, the car actually needs work done on it. When you try and start that car, it makes a loud noise and such. Wow. That's a mechanic's worst nightmare. Why not have mechanics? I don't know. Well, that sounds that actually sounds important. Let's add this information about the SUV to the cool record. Alright. Now then continue your testimony, witness. She started the car, she drove up ahead, a pedestrian. Hmm. About the victim. She was just on her way home and then got hit by a car. Uh, yeah, she just got out of the work and see if she was heading home. It was kind of tough talking with her family. She seemed to be nice, mother. Wow. This issue has nothing to do with the crime. Touch it, I'd like for you to stick to the facts of the case and nothing irrelevant. Stained? Unfortunate as it is, we will stick to the case at hand. Oh, uh, sorry, Mr. Hawk. Hawk really pouncing that quick. Why did Mr. Hawk object like that? Probably best to push the issue. What, is like something about, like, that something about her is like, you know, very, like her family is actually important in this case and he wants to hide it, or, or in that case, like, just, it literally is irrelevant. It, it, it can be either. 
Later, the police are just sent to Sydney. That's where he, we arrested Dee Dee. Hmm. I should remember you bursting into the stadium. Hey, pal, don't make me have to be rude. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. You're lovable. I must go through doors in a rush. No one really minds. You could stand to be less disruptive in your entrances. Especially when you came bursting into the case meeting. You made the chief prosecutor spill his coffee all over himself. <laughs> Didn't I already apologize for that, sir? Uh, who's in trial here? Uh, everyone, apparently. I better strike at the statement while I have a chance. Uh, yeah, you like saying that a lot, huh? Strike it while it's hot. Can you please go into detail for the rest? Oh, right. Well, as you were bumping into me, the other officers ran straight to the backstage, area where they found Dee Dee out of costume and arrested her. You bumped into me? How would the police say it was her? Dee Dee Denny was in after all. When the police confronted the young lady in her dressing room, they asked her who she was and she told them she was Dee Dee. How did anyone else confirm my backstage crew? Hmm. And that's everything for really there. We got a big old backstory for that. I believe we have substantially heard of how the crime and arrest was carried out. One thing that boggles me is why Miss Devil would carry out the yes act. I mean, a bank requires planning. I can't see why she would think of doing this. Also, in my head, it was also the matter of, um, uh, this little cool little piece of head to pay that she was the during its rape show. It's over $100,000. She gets a dollar money. Why does she need to steal a bank? Why does she want to go into a bank and steal one dollar just to get arrested? Oh, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. But I've seen, I've seen people, heard of people who decide to get, just get arrested to go to prison because I'm, uh, their living conditions are bad enough and, like, the prison would be better. I can't really fault them for that. Have you seen house of architecture for, like, you know, homeless and all that? I believe there is a rather simple reason. Oh, well, what might that be? As popular as the Super Day Sun Show is, Miss Double Sun's have been lackluster of late, but she still makes a lot of money. The prosecution believes that in order to pull in more ratings to the show, she decided to venture out in a costume to commit robbery, and to be arrested for it and, no and perform no more shows. Okay? Popularity only lasts so long. Objection! And that's true, then what about the victim? Miss Devil would only had no reason to kill her at all. Perhaps, however, we're convinced that the killing was an accident. The hand run only happened because she wanted to commit robbery. So this murder would not have happened if she did not intend to rob the bank. That is correct. Wow. Most of Miss Devil where Miss Devil's whereabouts during the show were unconfirmed the staff. And I would I would bring up the whole fact like, you know, like, you know, obviously like a motorcycle and an SUV, like, you know, she would know her hand around vehicles, but I'm like, literally it's probably just me. I don't know how like how she practices like, you know, that. It looks like she only does dirt bike stunts. And literally I'm uh when I drive my car with, you know, like someone else's van, it's obviously very different, like, you know, handling wise, engine wise, and just, you know, clutch gear, yeah. So I was, I'm not gonna go with that. <laughs> I confirmed by staff. No one saw her all during the show, so she's the likely suspect. Hmm. There's also the fact that the defendant was seen leaving the stadium by the witness. The witness to the defendant leave the stadium? Yes. Our witness seemed to be tailing the defendant all, all the way to the bank. Oh. Wait, 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 why? Since so cover of the crime had to be come from st Stunt Stadium. Well, that just proves it was just someone who's there, because, like, literally, if it wasn't Dara, that means the costume had to be, like, someone had to have went into her dressing room at some point, or literally had a spare made, which technically means it could be anyone on the staff. So, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Mr. Wright? Your Honor? The prosecution's theory is sounding more likely. So what is your stance on the case? Do you still believe that Miss Double was still at the stadium during the robbery? So we're already up against the wall. I can't come up as weak here. I have to present a strong argument. Defenses indeed believe that the defendant was the stadium during the crime. And this piece of evidence will help explain that. Well, are we going with the whole... the keys? We're looking for keys? I think we're going with that. Okay. It's a bit weak argument, but it's, it explains what... She, like, when no one, like, you know, saw her. These keys will ex help explain what happened. I've seen quite a number of keys presented as evidence the past few months. Oh yes, keys are a good thing, huh? <laughs> the key to the heart, key to the case, uh, yeah. Key to the mystery, the heart of mystery. During the show, the defendant has stated that, sh that she was looking for these bike keys. This one and only key is the bike she was going to ride for her last stunt. Please say the name. She was looking for it throughout her room the entire show, the Steel Samurai. And yet, here you are with a bike key in your possession. How was you able to find it when she couldn't? As it turns out, the key was stolen by a fellow performer, Stunt Manly. He had snuck into her room during the opening act and taken it. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew Manly would do something like that. 
you follow along with the dynamics of that show to the T, huh? Every time I watch the show, he had such a bad attitude towards Dee Dee. Or because he has a crush on her didn't want her to get hurt before the last stunt. Not knowing that key was stolen, Dara was stuck backstage searching for it. She also didn't want anyone wandering around to see her, so she secluded herself in the room. Hmm. Which leads me to believe that the person who robbed the bank was not Dara Devil. Objection. Hmm. And what about the stunt mainly said the story? Did he actually admit that he stole the bank by key? He did. We confronted Mr. Manley yesterday, and he confessed to stealing the key. But this hardly changes anything. She had three hours to find that key. By that time, she could have devised a plan to rob the bank. Uh, why? She could have performed the last act. Putting on a show at the bank was all she could think of. You know, I can't really fall for that for sometimes, because some people would like to do that really more. Some people have grand delusions of grandeur, but I don't think that fits her. Mm. Great, Mr. Hawk is on top of things again. That's kind of normal for Huskiers. I, I think this is just par for the course. I wouldn't be too sure on that. Huh? What do you mean, Nick? Mr. Hawk did present a likely scenario, but so did we. Robert the bank could have been someone else and not Dara. Literally, this is another case of him, uh, it's literally like the, the, the final case of the second game. Just him, uh, it could have been someone in the costume, or it could not have been. Eh, uh -huh. yeah. All we have to do now is chip away the prosecution's case with evidence. If we can keep at it, we should be able to prove that Dara is really innocent. Oh, I never thought of it that way. We really thought of this out, Nick. You know it. So far, I'm not really convinced on either side's argument. I'll need to hear more testimony before I can hand out my verdict. Is your next witness ready, Mr. Hawk? He's actually in the stand right now, Your Honor. Hi, Gumshoe. Hope you had a fun day. Is he behind it, a Gumshoe? What, is he saying like, 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 like the ultimate hide and seek or something? No. Your Honor, Detective Gumshoe is an eyewitness to the robbery. What? Uh, it's true, sir. I was in the bank when the suspect was robbing it. <laughs> oh, it must have been a fun time for you. Of all the... Well, I guess we don't need to hear what your name and occupation is again, but it's it's nice for the record. Let's take it one step at a time, Detective. Tell us what you saw when you arrived at the bank. Yes, sir, Mr. Hawk, sir. Salute. There we go. And the bank wobbly. On the day of the crime, I was walking to the bank while on my break. When I got to the bank's ATM, I saw someone inside wearing an outfit. The bank teller had his hands held up, and that's when I knew the place was being robbed. I saw the gun up and point the teller, and that's all I saw her doing. Hmm. Hmm. So you did. So you did see the suspect wearing the Didi costume, or someone wearing a costume with Didi on it? Stop putting it like this. That's right, Your Honor. The same costume that she wears in that show. Hmm. Incidentally, the costume worn by the defendant was found in her room. Wait, she wasn't wearing it at the time. Like, oh, I just remembered. Like. Would like she would wear something different then because like she was gonna you know reveal her identity so I, I guess it'd be different then, huh? Costume the defendant was found in her room. After she came back to the bank, she must have put it back in her closet. I see. Was she just gonna come out and like onto the show, the final act, with that outfit on? Huh. Wait. Well then, the defense will proceed with a cross examination. But wait, if she wouldn't reveal identity. Wouldn't she want to like hold like you know wear a similar outfit or the same one in fact and like take the helmet like with the like you know um, uh, the helmet off then take it and put it back on like wouldn't that be like that'd be a dramatic review right like they like so the audience wouldn't think it's some new performer then right right hmm I did the crime I was walking to the bank while my break how was your break so why did you need to go to the bank uh, why does that matter. Did I tell you that already, pal? I had to go and get some money to pay my apartment bill. Oh, but uh, right, sorry. The prosecutor would like to remind the defense to ask for those questions. We're not here to learn about the detective's money problems. Well, you, you get to help, stand to help him, too, you know? That's right, pal. We don't need to learn about how poor I really am. Uh, uh, okay. Even with my bonus, I can't buy a snack from the vending machines in the courthouse. Detective, that goes for you, too. Uh, sorry, sir. Well, those snacks are pretty expensive. Yes, they are. The goddamn Swiss rolls and the orange juice. Like, Jesus Christ. God. And that's why I'll never buy you any. Stingy. Uh, you already wasted all of Nick's money just with a single outing at a stunt stadium with a concession stand with the snacks, the, the kids' meal, a whole goddamn steakhouse, meal house, goddamn thing. So you had no place to say this matter, Missy. When I got to the bank's ATM, I saw someone inside wearing an outfit. 
It could have been anyone in the costume. And what does this outfit the copper was wearing look like? It looked like a motorcycle outfit. The same one by the defendant during the show. Please tell me, do you, are you a fan of that show too? What's your favorite song? She was also wearing a helmet to hide her face. Is that the... Wait, hmm. Is that the helmet she wore in the opening act? Or was that, you know, a helmet that was stolen from her? I guess that... Yeah, the orange helmet that was in her room. Like, was that supposed to be the new helmet that she was supposed to wear for, like, you know, her last act? Try, try to piece this together. Like, would she wear a different outfit or not? Hmm. Did you know right away that the defendant was Dee Dee? Not at the time, no. I'm not really familiar with the Super D stunt show, so I didn't know who Dee Dee was. After talking with the witness, she told us right away that it was Dee Dee. Hmm. So that's what the witness knew right away that it was Dee Dee. Which means they only saw a person in costume. Hmm. And since she was secluded in her room the whole time, that means part and parcel two things. That means, like, that means that if the culprit wasn't Dara, that means they had a spare of, like, her costume and, like, like you know, walked to the stadium to get to the bank and, you know, robbed the place and then came back with a car. So, literally, she was in her room the whole time, so, hmm. No one can verify it was truly her in the costume or was someone else. And also, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Bank teller had his hands held up, and that's when I knew the place was being robbed. How was the bank teller doing into the robbery? Well, he was fainted. Well, seems a poor, seems the guy seems to have a poor constitution. If we questioned him, he could hardly utter a word. I'll be shot too if I had a, if I, if I had a gun held to my face. Hatchet on the teller, and he seems very timid. The reason why I decided not to call him to the stand today. I suppose we wouldn't get much out of him in the state. Luckily, I was there at the scene of the crime to testify for him. I still take the teller as a witness over you, Gumshoe. God. So I held a gun up, pointed the teller, and that's all I that's all I saw her holding. Yet, yeah, wait. Like, hmm. All I saw you holding. That's a weird place to put it. Weird phrase to put it. What happened then? I was in shock. I mean, I even forgot my pin number for the ATM. Oh God. I forgot how much money I need to take out. Uh, I meant inside the bank. Oh right. Well, I still defended with a gun in hand and pointed to the, the bank teller. The teller took some cash and gave it to her. A gun in hand, huh? The gumshoe was the scene of the crime witness the robbery. I know gumshoe is that he's gonna have a lot of holes in his testimony. Do you think that a gumshoe would lie about the robbery? I don't think he would. But with his selective memory, we have to take the chance and find some contradictions. I guess so. Okay, so we press everything, so there should be a, a, an actual contradiction here. The day I was watching the bank while on my break. When I got to the bank's ATM, I saw someone inside wearing an outfit. The bank teller just hands held up, and that's when I knew the place was being robbed. But suspect a gun held up one to the teller, and that's all I saw her holding. That's That seems like a very specific statement, so there must be something here to present. So let's see. All I saw her holding. Witness photo. Well, he can't barely see the hand. Wait. It looks like the suspect's holding a bag or something? Right here? Yeah. Hmm. And the gun will probably be in the other hand, so. It could be here. Objection! You shouldn't be taking that photo, you. So you saw a gun in the hand, defendant's hand. And eh, detective? Oh, are we Canadian now? That's right. I mean, there wasn't any place to hold it, right? Uh, uh, do people have four hands now? Well, after looking at the, this photo, I beg to differ. Take a look at what the suspect is holding. Look at this photo. Yeah, shadow. Hmm, should be a bag of some sort? Yes, the suspect is holding what seems to be a bag in hand. What, did they leave it behind? Like, was it in the car? Was it in the Sun Stadium? Was it in Dara's room? What happened to it? But for some reason, I can't seem to see a gun at all. What? But, but I saw it there. I did. Objection. Detective, you need to learn to be a bit more specific in your testimony. Huh? I do? <sighs> I can see that the friend is holding a bag into her right hand. So where else could the gun have been then? On a holster. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. She was holding the gun in her left hand. I kind of forgot if she could, ha if she could have held it from somewhere else. My god. Did you expect her to hold a gun with her foot? Well, I mean, shoes are pretty versatile these days. And now my mind is immediately down to that... <laughs> to this... Like, imagine if everyone's hands were actually, like, feet... With their feet, like, you know, their feet were people's hands like gorillas. How would that go? Everyone, so we, instead of everyone wearing shoes, everyone would just be wearing... 
gloves. Wait, how would shoes work then if ever, if everything's gloved? Now gloved, just gloved like shoes. That that looks weird. I, I think that just look, looks weird. So weird. I had. Well, I can see how the detective could get get confused. You've got witness. Please amend your testimony. Yes, sir. The servant was holding a gun in her left hand as she was robbing the bank. Hmm. Okay. So that's a new statement, but I think it leaves off here. So we got basically just everything going down. We're getting to the nitty gritty of it, but we'll go through more of it and figure out if there's anything else to point out next time. So, over fun time watch as I am playing this. I'll see you next time, what time may be, and I all hope you fantastic day.